Hey folks, this is Jeff Kenny with Mr. Roof. A lot of times people ask us, what's involved with placing a roof? Well, today we're with Jay Zelke. Hi Jay, how are you? Jeff, how's it going? Well, Jay, what do we have going on here today? Today we are doing a, a full roof replacement. Um, I believe the home has multiple layers. We're going to remove all the shingles, go down to the original roof decking, do a full inspection, and uh, put them in a brand new roofing system. Okay, great. Well, let's go out and take a look and see what we've got going on. Sounds good. All right. All right, so Jay, first thing, it looks like we've got two satellite dishes, right? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, it looks like there's one currently being in use. There's a wire running to this one. And uh, this one, I believe, is disabled, and we will actually be removing this during the install. Okay, what about all this gunk and stuff right here down by where the satellite attaches to the roof? The real problem with satellite dishes, Jeff, is that they don't actually make any kind of flashing kit to seal off the penetration through the roof. So what is commonly done is there is just a sealant that is put around here, and over time, it begins to fail. And uh, this is a great place for water penetration that can cause a leak. Gotcha, so um, for most homeowners, don't install the satellite dishes on top of the roof, maybe onto the side? Absolutely, we always recommend that uh, the client have the, the satellite dish either put on a pole in the yard, if possible, or attached to the side of the roof, which is called the rake edge. Okay, gotcha, and I'm noticing right over here, take a look at this right here. Notice in a, I guess this is a nail coming out through the shingle? Yeah, this is called a nail pop. Uh, this this nail actually was below this tab at one time. Right. And what has happened over time, the nail has pushed itself up through the face of the shingle. And here again, it's, just, it's a penetration through the roof. So that's another great place for a leak. And it looks like somebody had come up and put some sealant around it. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a quick fix, temporary fix. And this, is, this will last you maybe a, a week, a year. Really don't know. The proper way to do it is to actually replace the shingle and pull that nail out. Okay, great. Right over here, I'm noticing it looks like what is this we're looking at right here? Uh, this looks like they, they had actually had some storm damage, some wind lifting at one time, and this shingle has actually been completely tore off. Uh, here again, somebody had tried to come in and temporarily seal this off where the two shingles come together. Right. Uh, but the correct thing to do is to uh, call uh, uh, quality reputable company to come out, take a look at your roof, inspect it for any kind of damage, and then they can advise you on the best way to take care of it from there. Okay, great. Let's go on top of the roof real quick. Okay, Jay, on top of the roof now, can you tell me a little bit about what these are and why there's so much good all around these things? Well, this is actually what we have here is uh, a couple pipes coming through the roof, and these are actually used for exhausting uh, the bathroom. Um, right. The way that it works is when you flush your toilet, kind of same principle as a gas can. You want to make sure the air is going somewhere. Right. The air comes out through here. Okay. Uh, it looks like this ha this roof has two layers on it. So what was done was the original roof was was put into place, and then when they put the second layer on, they actually just put some mastic around these pipes here to stop it from leaking anyway. Um, <laughs> as you can see here, we got a, a, uh, an extension for a gutter strap here right. holding up the gutter. But the actual way that this should be done is um, the pipe is installed and the shingle is around it. The bottom is left open and nailed into place. And we actually go a little bit above and beyond and we'll put a sealer around the top of this right here. This is where the pipe comes through right. because uh, a lot of times, depending on where you're at, the, the sun can get so hot, it can actually dry it and deteriorate this area. Okay. And so it's just an extra layer of protection that we put on all Gotcha. Of so all new roofs get these new uh, boots right here. Correct. Okay. That's good news. And then right over here, if we walk right over here and take a look at the chimney. Uh, we have a, a chimney cap that's failing really bad. It looks like they've had some tuck pointing done at one time. That's where they've come back and fill in the mortar. Um, this, this chimney is in really rough shape. They, they're to the point now where they need to have some bricks replaced due right. to spalding and coming apart and uh, have a new cap put over the top. Right, so this is the cap right here and there's actually a hole that comes straight through here. Yeah, you, you can literally put your arm all the way down inside there. So you, you know this is an area for water penetration. Okay, so and then uh, along the side of the chimney right here, what we're looking at is, now is this called flashing, correct? This is the original counter flashing that okay. was on the chimney. And again, this, this is this, uh, a home that has two layers of roofing on it. So what was done was when they, when they put the second layer on, they actually ran their shingle up against the old flashing and put a mastic sealer on here. Now this, is, this really isn't the proper way to do things um, with, with the roof replacement. We're gonna tear all that off make sure that the chimney has all the right underlayment wrapped around it securely, right. flash properly, and then install brand new counter flashing on the okay. chimney also. So it's a, good, it's a good idea to have complete new counter flashing installed on a brand new roof every time, correct? Absolutely. Okay, get Absolutely. that nice seal up. Okay, well great, well thanks so much, Jay. Yep. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. It's great. Well folks, listen, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to give us a call at Mr. Roof. Uh, we're more than happy to try to help you out in any way. Thanks so much.